Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 14, writing division expressions. Okay, classwork example one. Fill in the three remaining squares so that all the squares contain equivalent expressions. So they gave us 15 division symbol three. To write that as a fraction would be 15 up here divided by three down here. This is the division symbol, not square root symbol. Square root symbol would look like this. So this is going to have the 15 in here and we're dividing the 15 by the three out here. And to say this, the word quotient means to divide. So I would say the quotient of 15 and three. Okay, so you, the word quotient means to divide. The word and tells you where to put the division symbol. 15 division symbol three. Quotient of 15 and three. So those are the equivalent expressions of 15 divided by three. So example two now says, Fill in a blank copy of the four boxes using the words dividend and divisor so that it is set up for any example. So we're going to take the quotient. The dividend. And the divisor. Quotient of the dividend and the divisor. Okay. Down here it will be the dividend divided by divisor. This is the dividend. Divisor is out here. This is dividend. And this is divisor. Okay, so this is the way it will be for all of them. All right, moving along. Now we have an exercise, and it says to complete the space, the missing spaces in each rectangle set. Well, these are all blank, so I will, there was a set given in the book, so I have the list, and what we did in class was we just did the one set, set A, and we were given five divided by P. Okay, so I'll do the, the one that was given in blue and then I'll switch to purple for the answers. So this would be the quotient of 5 and P. Okay, so this would be 5 and this would be P. This would be 5 and this would be P. Okay, so what comes at the end here goes outside and below. Okay, number two said the quotient of G and H. That was the given. So the quotient of G and H. So it's G divided by H. G divided by H. Okay, number three. The given was W here. We changed to blue for the given. The W was here. And there was a 23 in here. That was our given. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is write the quotient. Actually, it's 23 divided by W, so I'll do this one first. It's just easier to set it up. 23 divided by W. So now I'm going to say the quotient of 23 and W. So this is 23 divided by W. Okay. Next one, 
the given was uh, y divided by, and then down here was x plus 8. Okay. So it's y divided by x plus 8. But in this situation here, if we're thinking of MDOS, we can't just, this would tell us to divide the x, the y divided by x first, and then add 8 to it. And that would look like plus 8 out here and not have this. And that is not what we were given. It's not y divided by x plus 8. It's y divided by the quantity x plus 8. So I need parentheses for the x plus 8. So out here is going to be x plus 8, and the y is going to be under here. We could put parentheses here, but it's not necessary because there is a separator. But either way would work. And now to write this, it would be the quotient of y and the quantity of x and 8. Okay, so the quotient of y and the quantity x plus, it's a plus. Okay, the next one was given here. It was 7 divided by quantity a minus 6. Okay, so now we have 7 divided by the quantity. So 7 divided by the quantity a minus 6. 7 divided by a minus 6. Parentheses are no longer needed because the fraction bar separates the two. And then a minus 6 is out here and 7 down here. We could have parentheses, but it's not necessary. But I will. Okay, next one. We were given a 3 here. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Right up here. 3 here and an m plus 11 here. So it's m plus 11 divided by 3. So I need parentheses divided by 3. m plus 11 divided by 3. I don't need parentheses here, but if you put them, that's okay. And so now this is going to say the sum of m plus 11 divided by 3. Okay, so there it is. Oh, I did them all in blue. This was my given. Okay, that's fine. So the given one on number seven is parentheses f plus two parentheses divided by g. Okay, so there's our given. So we now need to convert this to the fraction bar. So it's f plus two in the numerator divided by g, divisor divided by dividend, and f plus two. 2 divided by g, and then our words would be the sum of f and 2 divided by g. Okay, the sum of f and couldn't read my messy writing. The sum of f and 2 divided by g. Okay, one more. The given was c minus 9. And the denominator was d plus 3. So see if you can fill in these three. Okay, numerator divided by. So I need a c minus 9 here and a d plus 3 here. But... 
since PEMDAS would rearrange all the orders of what we want to do, we've got to have parentheses. Because that would have said to do 9 divided by d first if we didn't have parentheses. So d plus 3 is outside. We're dividing c minus 9 by it. And parentheses can be used, or but they don't have to. So this is going to be the quotient of uh, c minus 9 and d plus 3. Okay, quotient of c minus 9 and d plus 3. Okay. That's the end of lesson 14. Go to your problem set.